was there was there much sort of movement in terms of bridging you know the 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 flashbacks in terms of were they were they moved around quite a bit or yeah they were actually that that became because because when we when we finished the first um cut the you know the first real polished cut of the movie uh it became clear that the beginning of the movie was too uh, was out of balance that there 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 was too much attention to Augustine wandering around lonely and and trying to figure out what to do. And that a lot of those scenes were so effectively done that, that it made others of them redundant. And so as we started to peel those away, we then had to find different ways to restructure. And we actually did a lot of restructuring with this um, in terms of moving up how, uh, moving up meeting the ether crew, for example. Uh, originally that happened much later in the movie. Um, so we were able to, to move that up. Um, but that being said, I really appreciated the way the script was written, that the flashbacks and what we're learning about the world and the circumstance is never explicit. And you're always just getting a little bit of detail here, here, and here that are giving you uh, narrative clues without it without it feeling like it that that they d do feel like it's just it's just kind of natural extension of, of learning his backstory through his experience of what he's going through and what he's thinking about um, and so in that sense that that was that was there was a lot of movement in terms of how we how we dealt with that and, and how much or how little to share yeah yeah well, I suppose it it's quite a neat device because it, it, you can you can sort of move them around quite a bit. So it's, it's a bit of an editor's friend in that sense, isn't it? Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah.